Hello guys, how are you doing today? Today we are going to learn that how we can create a database and how we can populate the list view from our database. So for this I have divided it into three parts. In today's part we are going to learn that how we can create a database file in Android Studio and how we can put in create query, update query, get query, select query all these queries together in our database file and in my next tutorial we will learn that how we can add our data to that database and in the third video we are going to learn that how we can populate a list view based on the database we have created so for this I have taken a simple empty activity project like the, my last video I have a layout folder and I have two files in it one is activity main I have placed a list view in it and I have given it a ID as my list in second file I have custom view activity and I have a text view and an image view in it and this would be basically responsible for our row design and I have these two file in the layout folder in my Java folder I have only one file the main activity file and we are going to go and create a database file here so we'll click on new and we'll take a java java class and we are going to give it a name as database helper and we are going to add all our queries in this so we have to extend this so we are going to extend it from sqlite opener helper and this class it basically takes some inbuilt methods and a constructor so we'll go and create those two methods and one constructor so this constructor basically have four components we don't need this components we can directly define them in our super here so we'll delete this from here and these variables are basically context is for the reference and this is we are going to go the, and use the same and second one is name this is our DB name so we are going to define it here so for this I'll take one public variable since we are going to have a single database variable in one file so I have given it a static type and we are going to give it a name as data base name and whatever you give it a name you have to always give a dot db extension to it I will give it name as names dot db so this you can choose this is optional and dot db is always there you have to give it a dot db extension and this variable I am going to copy it and I need this variable here then there is a factory variable we don't need it so we will put a null here and version is our for app version and I'll put one because it is my first app so now we are going to go and define the other things in on create we are going to set up the create query so for this we will write db dot excel dot sql create table and here I'll add a concat sign and I'll use my table name variable here for this I have to create a table name variable here I'll go and copy this one and 
and here I'll use table and I'll give it a name as my table it don't need any extension and here I'll use this variable in the create query so create table table name and now I'm going to go and add my fields here so first I'm going to take one ID so I'll give it as ID and I want its type to be integer and I'll put it as a primary key then I want it to be auto incremented so I'll add auto increment and then I'll add a comma and my next field name and its data type so this query is create table table name uh, column name and its data type and the primary key auto increment and then the second column name and this is my data type for the second column name and this is done and now I'm going to go and create the query in my on upgrade method and I'm going to copy this I need the same here here I'll have to add a query that drop table if the table is already there so if the same name of table is already there and then it is going to drop it drop table if exists I'll remove all this and I'll add it if exist then here I want my table name I have uh, defined this table name variable at above so that if I want to change my table name I'll change this variable and in the whole code it would be changed so if I have defined uh, differently here here everywhere so I am going to go to the query and I have to check where I have defined table name and I have to change it so instead of that I have defined it here globally so I can change it once and it would be changed everywhere so this is the query here and this will put it on create method DB. and now we are going to add one more query that would be if we have to add data I am going to define this function as add data I am going to give its type as boolean because I have to insert that if my data is inserted or not I have to get that from this uh, function so I'll give it a type as boolean so that it can return true or false so now here I'll pass one string variable because I have to add data to my database through this function so I'll take one parameter from my main activity or my add form uh, file that we are going to add in the next video so here we are going to add so that's why we are going to take one SQLite database this type of variable this dot get writable database which would be responsible for writing the data to our database then content values and variable with a small c content values equal to new content values and here we will take long result this is a long type of variable result and in it I am going to go and insert table 
table name we'll use null because if we have to leave some field null then we can always use a null here and then content values we can go ahead and always add here the data which we want to add to our content values like I want to add some data to my name column so I can define it like this column name and here I will write the value which is coming from here and this is the column name and this is the value so it can be defined like this and I have to use dot put so here would be the value and this would be inserted to my deep data table name uh, then we are going to check that if my result is equal to is equal to minus 1 then it's going to return false otherwise it's going to return true so I can always use this function to check that if my data has been inserted or not and from here this column I can add as many as columns as I want to I just have to use content values dot put then column name then the value and then I have to put it into the insert this is done now we are going to add one get data method for it we have to use cursor and in get data method we'd be adding the select query same as above sklite db is equal to this dot get writable database then we have to take a string variable I'll name it as query and I'll go ahead and add the select query to this here I'll write the table name and this query I'll pass to cursor data db dot draw query it would take two parameters first would be the query which has select query and second would be null and then I'll return it so that's it here we have created the queries let's go ahead and check what the error here is I have placed an L instead of C sorry for that and this is our database file we have our database name table name here and this is our constructor and on create we have created a create query create table table name column name and data type and here we have the drop uh, uh, query if we have to have that table already exist in the database then we have to have delete it then we have a add data method and we have an insert query here 
and we can add content values dot put column name and value and we can add as many as values we want to and we just have to copy this and paste this to add a new column and new value and in get data we have our select query and that's it thank you so much for watching do subscribe to see my next video bye bye